Hey guys, welcome to another video for the K20 Pro on PhoneOps and yes, we are talking about the exciting .OS 5.1 for the K20 Pro today. This is a quick preview in which I will show you around the ROM and maybe later once we get a couple of updates and the you know ROM is as good as a super daily driver, we can go ahead and actually go ahead and review it. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you can join us and support us get a thousand members last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going So what do we have here? .OS 5.1 G apps. The device is of course the Redmi K20 Pro. Android version is Android 11. The full form for DOT is Droid on time. And as you can see, the Android security update is 5th of May 2021. And the kernel that you're using is the Perf kernel. So, you know, all the info that you need is available over there, right? And I've installed this update as soon as it came out. I did a few tests and I'm here to share the information one by one. So first, let me run you through the settings menu. But before we actually get into the settings menu, we'll look at the launcher and the notification tiles. To the left, you have the Google feed, of course. That is a very, very common thing amongst AOSP ROMs. But if you talk about the launcher first, you go to home settings. You have a very, very basic launcher which says version 11. So I'm guessing this is a pixel launcher or some sort of AOSP launcher. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you do have the Monet look alike UI. Now the reason they are saying a Monet look alike UI because this is how Android 12 looks and that is the look that they're going for. And if you would notice, we have a sort of a greenish wallpaper and the UI adapts to the color of the wallpaper, which is really, really neat. Now we'll also talk about the notification tiles over here. You do have screen recording and you do have the other advanced options over here as you can see caffeine is there one by one focus mode bedtime mode live caption nearby share dc dimming and some other extra applications you can reset the tiles from here as well okay now if you close it if you go to the sound recorder you do have an option to record inbuilt and external audio as well so let's go ahead and actually start recording let's see here right the recording has begun and as you can see over here can you feel some sluggishness nope i don't think i see any sluggishness over here but in the app opening animation i saw some sluggishness here for sure so what i'm trying to say here is the recorder works just fine but you might get some ui sluggishness that might be a problem for some of you and if you actually go to the recents you have screenshot and select working like a boss there you go so select options screenshots everything is working although this is a build which is g apps normally in g apps builds sometimes you might not see this feature but i think they have made it a point to make sure that the select and the screenshot feature in recents is a part of the rom itself now moving on the launcher layout is pretty standard just like any pixel device you have the search bar at the bottom and a few icons at the top you have your usual app drawer we've completely covered the front look of the ui now let's actually go to the back end and let's go to settings over here now in settings as well you would see that it's a pretty pretty standard android 11 system going on over here not like the poco f1 in which the settings menu was also looking sort of like the monet ui the place where you'll see that is in the customizations and we'll talk about that in a while now as always i do not believe it is necessary for me to take you to each and every settings option just to go ahead and make the video longer but we will touch base on some basic improvements or basic features that are part of android 11 for example if you go to the wi-fi settings menu you do have the option to disconnect and auto reconnect using a qr code you can also add a wi-fi connection you have voice over lt video over lt voice over wi-fi all working like a charm i did not have any issues with the network strength or you know the wi-fi connectivity bluetooth for me is working fine as well under connected devices you have all the preferences for bluetooth and other sorts of connections now 
this is the place where we come to the interesting part we come to customization now you have wallpapers aod and lock screen this is of course a k20 pro with a super amoled display so status bar quick settings app lock the lab clock face fod icons fod animation fod options buttons so one by one let's quickly go through them wallpaper is wallpaper you can pick it from the gallery or you can use any of the built-in wallpapers always on display you have enable disable you can disable or enable edge lightning and you can select the color mode of the edge lightning and you can select custom color as well now moving on in status bar you have a ton of options over here now, as you can see you can customize the clock the traffic indicator the battery light the battery light is up, up top over here so you can't really see that but if you go back to the next menu you have a lot of quick settings customization you can see that i have tried almost each and every customization menu you do have the app lock over here with which you can lock applications a pretty nifty feature to see in a custom rom and then you have this monet look alike ui or monet wannabe ui color selection over here then you have the clock face what type of clock do you want on the lock screen what type of fingerprint display icon you want because this is an in display fingerprint scanner and what type of uh, animation a ton of animations available over here fod options you can select what color you need fod night light screen of fod you can go ahead and enable these features buttons you have the option to customize those buttons moving on you have the launcher grid and you have themes and you have system in system you have a ton of options so all i'm trying to say over here is although this looks like monet ui and this rom is pretty stable and you know don't get me wrong we will be doing a live stream with this particular rom the amount of customizations that are available in dot os and the way they present it to you is pretty unique and it's pretty amazing now apart from this in display you have your usual stuff all theming and basic stuff working like a boss app and notifications bubble supported but not by whatsapp you have digital well-being system gestures so you know if you actually go to system you go to gestures system navigation power menu so you do have advanced power menu and all the other things now that's everything about the rom when it comes to customization stability what about the performance and what about the integral features one thing that i did not like in dot os 5.1 for the k20 pro is safety net is not fixed out of the box so you will have to rely on magisk to fix that that is one thing if we talk about the drm info widewine l1 certification is present so you should be able to play amazon prime in hd netflix in hd you should not really have a problem doing that now apart from this let's quickly talk and touch base upon the benchmark numbers so if you talk about the cpu throttling test i'm pretty sure i have a screenshot over here there we go as you can see so not the best result but not the worst result too this is in between between stock rom and custom rom so this may be a balanced daily driver if you will and if you talk about geekbench 715 single core 2410 multi core and if we talk about antutu 458947 is the score so benchmark numbers are pretty decent the phone runs pretty smooth it doesn't really heat up that much although how well does it perform in a gaming test is something we will have to see on the live stream battery backup has been pretty decent for me fast charging has been working absolutely fine i've not had any issues with charging or discharging of the battery now, as you can see over here 15 hours back we had charged it just 90 minutes of screen on time st still we have around 48 percent battery so the battery backup is pretty decent pretty insane and the rom as a whole is a very very good package you can definitely go ahead and install it and try to use it as a daily driver let me know what you think about this quick preview of dot os 5.1 for the k20 pro until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye